Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight, the official YouTube channel of SerialAtMidnight.com. My name is Heath, and I'm glad you're here because in this video, we're going to be talking about this. This is a new release, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the complete 1981 BBC TV series, uh, the adaptation for television. Uh, and to do this, I have prepared myself by, I'm wearing my bathrobe, I know where my towel is, uh, I have a babel fish deeply rooted in my ear, and I'm ready to talk some Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, I first came to it in the mid-90s. I was in high school and I, I got this. This is the uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide trilogy, uh, which is five books, because that's Douglas Adams, the author, being just being cheeky. Um, and I immediately fell in love with these. I had heard that they were good, and so I... Uh, I knew they were British, I knew that I loved Doctor Who, I knew, you know, it was probably for me, and then I read them and I immediately loved them. They they have commentary, they have things to say, these books have things to say. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the first uh, book, is my favorite. It seems to have the most, um, for me, it has the most weight, it has the most, it's just, I, I think it's near perfect. Uh, and having said that, they keep trying to adapt it. You know, there's a radio adaptation, which full disclosure, I have not heard. I need to. There's a whole series of radio adaptations. There's also, of course, the television adaptation. And then they even try to feature film, a major Hollywood feature film, which I think has its heart in the right place. And when it came out, I was a champion of this movie. But revisiting it and especially comparing it to this, uh, this gets some important things wrong I get some important things right too but uh, there's some things that are just some key elements that I feel like just aren't there they feel very Hollywood they feel like studio notes listen we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about the BBC television series and uh, you know I say all that I'm talking about how it's hard to adapt this book into something that's that's uh, Visual into it and it's especially a TV series and that's on the special features. They talk a lot about that They say well this book was unfilmable and if you read the book, it really is unfilmable There are so many asides and it's kind of written down, you know Almost entire chapters will be an aside where it's like well this person had alcohol and then they'll have like pages of dialogue of, of text about what the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has to say about alcohol the, the TV series, the BBC series, managed to weave these uh, guide entries into the, the, the series itself, the action, the story, very well. They, they do this really great thing with animation, and uh, it completely feels separate. It feels like you're reading something from the, you know, you're getting information from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy book. So they really found a clever way around that. So that works like gangbusters. Unfortunately, other things don't. Like, clearly this is, it's from 1981. It's a BBC production. It's low budget. Uh, so special effects aren't really there. They, you know, they have their charm, especially the ships and things like that. But uh, Zaphod Beeblebrox has a second head that at no point looks like anything other than a mannequin head sitting on his shoulder and i understand that they spent quite a lot of money on it it's an animatronic head it can blink it can open its mouth but yet it always just looks like like it always just kind of sits there uh, and on the special features again, even the actor that had to wear the second head says, I don't think it ever really worked. Uh, it was distracting. It made my acting job hard. And there was always a guy off screen trying to keep me in frame and keep everything synchronized. So that doesn't necessarily work. Uh, and again, the special effects, you're talking about an intergalactic space science fiction story. Uh, if, you're, if you're new to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I certainly don't want to spoil anything for you. So I will just say uh, it starts on Earth and it goes through all of time and space. If you like Doctor Who, the concept of Doctor Who, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy does that with tongue firmly planted in cheek. It doesn't take itself seriously. Uh, and it's almost a commentary on... Uh, humanity, what we do, what, what drives us. It's very, actually very intelligent. Like Monty Python could blend high art with low humor in a way that nobody else seemed to be able to. It's kind of kind of like this. These are very heady, scientifically interesting ideas mixed with very British humor, occasionally low humor. Uh, there's a paranoid android, which is where Radiohead got the name of that song from. Marvin, the paranoid android. Uh, there's, it, so it's, it's interesting in that how much it, strives to achieve for and I think maybe that's my ultimate 
um, compliment to this is that they really went all out because it doesn't seem like it should have been possible. But they made six episodes. And in these six episodes, it comes as close as you can in a visual format to capturing the essence of the book, the tone of the book. As a series, this really may be the best visual way to experience Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. If you haven't read it, I would say absolutely read it. Uh, it was conceived as a book. It is best as a book. But this comes pretty close to capturing what makes the book special. Uh, and this is the ultimate package too. We got, we got to talk about some of these things. This is a, a three disc edition. Uh, it comes with a bonus 24 page booklet. I'll just open it up here and we can kind of talk about it a little, a little bit. So here we have disc one, disc two, disc three. And this book is really fantastic because it gives uh, a production history of, of the people involved with the series. It gives uh, background information on how it was, how it was actually ideal, like how they did it, the special effects people, all that stuff. They have little asides about such as like the pan galactic gargle blaster which if you've read the book or seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. The animation, they do a breakdown of the animation. This is a really fantastic book. And then there's what I think is very valuable is uh, there's a timeline. Uh, this is not gonna show up because it's such tiny, tiny print, but there's a timeline with like 100 entries beginning in 1978 and ending in 2020, uh, which is the 42nd anniversary of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And 42 being a very important number, for the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, that's another just little clever, thoughtful uh, addition that they've put in here. Just, it lets you know that they didn't throw this together. The extras on this thing are literally exhaustive and exhausting. If you ever wanted to see any behind the scenes footage from this, it's in here. Deleted scenes, flubbed takes, gag reels, bloopers, Honestly, more than you need uh, for the completionist, the completest, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is this is like the total package. This is everything we've ever gotten before, plus more. Basically, everything that the BBC has access to that was produced for this uh, is here, plus new stuff that they've created just for this release. So it is the definitive Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy experience. I can't imagine this ever getting a better edition. I will say this has been remastered for Blu-ray, but you can't tell. Uh, if you've bought the most recent Doctor Who Blu-rays from the BBC, like there's the Tom Baker one, uh, as of this recording right now, they're doing a Peter Davison first series, season 19, I think it is, of the original Doctor Who. Those don't look great either, but those actually look better than this. And I'm not sure why that is. This really doesn't look very good. It looks like, um, you know, like it, the DVD probably looks about like this does, but I guess we can rest assured that this has been remastered and it does look and sound as good as it ever will. I can't imagine them trying to pull 4K or something out of this. So this is probably the definitive Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, that being said, I think this is well worth the pickup for Anglophiles, for science fiction fans. Uh, this is, uh, it's cheap. I, I think I paid $20 for this and for a package this detailed, this in depth listen this thing i remember like on vhs tape this thing was going for like 40 bucks because it was several tapes in a row uh so this is this is like the best uh package that's ever been put together for this at the best price so if that sort of thing is important to you i would highly recommend you check it out i will also say um if you can't tell from this conversation 80s early 80s bbc science fiction we're talking about like model spaceships very low special effects so if that's not necessarily your thing um there's a lot you're gonna have to overlook this is very much of its time for me i find that nostalgic uh it predates me a little bit but i grew up with you know doctor who and stuff like that and so i love that 70s and 80s bbc studio special effects you know the the color separation overlay stuff but if it's not your cup of tea i don't know that this is going to win you over i almost think that the hitchhiker's guide uh this version in particular is very much an acquired taste it might be challenging to a new viewer so if you're thinking about rolling the dice on and you're not familiar with this era of british science fiction um maybe rent it or something check it out at a friend's house or something like that before you drop your hard-earned money on it because it is just so, it's so, it is what it is. It's so unique. It's so of its time. Um, and so if you do struggle with older Doctor Who, you might struggle with this too. That being said, 
uh, Hitchhiker's Guide is a classic. I love it. I was so uh, excited by the Blu-rays. Like I finished the show, I watched the special features, and then I just I had to start reading the book again, which is a big compliment because it captures so much of the essence of the book that I, like it just made me want to curl up with the book. And so that's what I've been doing. Um, guys, that's it for Hitchhikers. I want to thank you. I will say, we have blown past 6,000 subscribers in the last couple of days. And uh, the anniversary of this channel, as whenever you're watching this, February of 2019 is the two-year anniversary of Serial at Midnight, the YouTube channel. And I really want to be at 10,000 subscribers by February. When we hit two years, I want to be at 10,000 subscribers, there's gonna be a two year anniversary birthday celebration. There will be giveaways, prizes. This is a big deal. So I need you, I want you. I want you to be a part of Serial at Midnight. Thumbs up these videos, subscribe. Tell people about them, tell your friends about them. Uh, if you're part of a community, share them around. Serial at Midnight is growing and I want us all to be growing together. I want us all on board this ship because we are taking off you guys i'm telling you two years it's gonna be here before you know it and there are so many cool exciting things lined up i do appreciate you guys i i, I really do i appreciate your time for watching to the end of this video to get these announcements thank you i appreciate you and i will catch you later and you know what let's just say i will catch you later but until then so long and thanks for all the fish <laughs>